everybody, this is David with Dave T Pilot Innovations. I'm here to show you a really neat little uh, device that I've come up with. This, not the speaker, I didn't come up with the speaker. This is a Skosh Boom Can Bluetooth speaker. And if you have a speaker like this or something similar, I'm going to show you a way that you can very easily and very inexpensively make a bracket to attach it to your uh, bicycle or even your motorcycle if you wanted to. The diameter of the speaker fits perfectly into a 2 inch PVC connector. This is a uh, 2 inch to 1 inch PVC T. And the diameter here is an exact fit for my Skosh boom can speaker. It would fit in like that and it would stop on the ridge that normally stops the pipe that you would put in here. Put the can, the can speaker in there and then I marked where the buttons were. And then I mar just marked on the PVC. So I just cut it along the line and then I cut it down because it was much longer than this so I just cut it down so it would be about the size of the speaker itself, like this. And by cutting the relief uh, slot on the top, right here, it frees it up the buttons so that it can have access to them. But it also gives a little bit of a spring action. The inside of the pipe where this ridge is this ridge here and over here, normally like I was saying, when you plug a pipe in it would stop on that ridge. So this part right in here is just a little bit smaller in diameter and so it makes it a nice tight fit. With this relief slot on the top it flexes out a little so I can just slide the speaker in there and it's a good tight fit. And then what I did was I attached the one inch PVC pipe here and I put a little end cap on the bottom just to clean it up. and then. I screwed that to um, a bracket that once held a bicycle reflector. Just got it off an old bicycle. Um, you can you can find similar brackets in bicycle stores and things like that. And I just drilled a couple of holes in the PVC pipe and then put some bolts on it. But these little speakers put out a lot of a lot of great quality sound, really loud. And what's good about it is Bluetooth, so there's no wire. So I keep my phone in my pocket. And I go on bicycle rides, and I can also do it on a motorcycle if I wanted to. Uh, and it's just really cheap. I mean, these fittings, <laughs> they're nothing, you know. A couple of dollars for this, uh, that might have been 50, 60 cents, something like that, and a little piece of pipe. So, there you go for less than, I'd say less than five dollars. You can build a little nice little bracket for these uh, uh, Skosh boom can speakers or other similar speakers. Just make sure that your using the right size pipe for the diameter of whatever speaker you have. I just wanted to show you what it looked like after I um, went ahead and put some paint on it. It actually came out pretty nice looking, so it's not a, you know, it, it actually looks like it's designed uh, sort of to hold that speaker as opposed to just a bunch of plumbing parts. Um, it, I took some sandpaper and I cleaned the sharp points and edges from the cuts and things like that, and then I just hit it with some flat black uh, paint, spray paint, that is uh, made for plastic. And I'll show you that can in just a second. This is the paint that I like to use when I'm painting plastic. I use it for my aquaponics uh, systems and pretty much anything I need to paint plastic. Um, some of my woodworking projects that I make uh, use plastic, I use this. Um, Rust-Oleum, Painter's Touch, uh, it says right there also bonds to plastic. It works very well. Um, usually uh, it's paint and primer mixed together and usually one coat does the job. If you want a deeper, uh, thicker finish you can use two coats but um, it works great. So that's my plug for Rust-Oleum. That's it guys. Uh, go ahead and throw a project like this together if you, if you have interest in putting some music on your bicycle. So take care guys. We'll see ya.